Hello, everybody. Uh, who dat? The New Orleans Saints get the victory over the Seattle Seahawks, 13-10. And that New Orleans Saints defense is probably maybe a top five defense. No, no, no. Let me take that back. They are a top five defense in the NFL. They have played absolutely sensational. And this game, they played wonderful. They got to Geno Smith. Now, granted, Geno Smith was you know, discombobulated throughout the game. When there a lot of pressures came his way, he usually buckled, you know, didn't handle the pressure very well, usually would run into the pressure. You know, he would always just, you know, duck and cover and try to run. And he would just, he was so off. He just didn't have a firm presence in the pocket. He was just very hip hoppity and jumpy when all the pressure came. But a lot of that, you got to give the Saints credit because they understood the disadvantage at which Geno Smith had was that's, you know, understanding that's, uh, rather experience they understood that and they took advantage of it and some of the greatest defenses do that and the saints most certainly did that in the game but all right now let me talk about that offense um that's the worst i've seen this offense play all year uh rather than the carolina game the carolina game was worse because you know they didn't put a lot of points on the board but i would argue this might be a little the kind of the same because let's be honest Honest, in a sense, the Saints got lucky. They got lucky uh, because of the Seattle penalties at the end of the game. The roughing the passer and then the approachment on the field goal. The Saints got lucky. Um, I really don't like what I saw from that offense. The only two people that I that were on that offense that played well or played, obviously, Kamara played insane. He was our offense and then Jameis Winston. I thought Jameis Winston was serviceable at best. He didn't play awful. He didn't play great, but he didn't play bad. He didn't play bad enough for them to lose. But everybody else, I thought Callaway struggled today. He couldn't get open. Trey Quan Smith, the same thing. He just couldn't get the separation. <clears throat> and that was the problem in this game. The Saints just couldn't get separation. That is the problem. They couldn't get separation from their defensive uh, backs. And that was probably the biggest, biggest issue in this game. But the Saints, thankfully, are four and two. But I, I, I just, I am not liking what I'm seeing from the Saints team right now offensively. Um, granted, the weather was a problem, but that excuse only goes so far because this offense is so much better than that Seattle defense, and they they played down to that Seattle defense's level because Seattle's defense is not the best defense in the world, and they've struggled a little bit. And they let an all, you know, this offense play down to their level and did not play as well as they should have. And they, the offensive receivers just couldn't get open. You know, Troutman had that fumble. It just nobody could get open. The only guy that played great, and great is obviously AK-41, Alvin Kamara. He was really the only one. He had over 100 yards receiving, had a touchdown. That touchdown there at the end of the second half to get them over the, you know, get to 10 to 7 but other than that I mean it just it was a bad game for New Orleans offensively couldn't get open um the only reason they won this game was because Seattle did an oopsie twice you know they roughed the passer in Winston and then jumped off sides so we got the Bucks next week I'm not looking forward to that uh we'll see what happens but uh I would say this was probably <coughs> the worst win <laughs> I've ever seen as a Saints fan. Uh, it's up there. It's top five. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, you know, I think the Saints with that defense, that top five defense is still a playoff contender. You know, if the playoffs started today, they'd be in the postseason. They're four and two. Uh, you know, they got some, I think they can definitely beat Carolina again. They can beat Atlanta twice, I think. I mean, I think they're a good, better teams or they're a better team rather than those teams. But I think the Buccaneers are the team that's going to be the NFC South champions. They're just going to be behind. But I do think there's going to be two teams from the NSL, NFC South rather that go to the playoffs, and that's the Bucs. I still think the Saints do, but I'm not. I think the Saints need Michael Thomas because that offensive uh, unit, that offensive, the offensive receivers, they got to find ways to get open uh, because they just didn't do that today. But again... Thank God for that Saints defense. They were the reason why the Saints won the game. They got to Geno Smith. Every time the Saints, like, 
Look at when Troutman fumbled the ball. For them to stop Seattle, to stop them like they did and just get them to a field goal was epic. Just imagine if they picked up the ball, okay, and then Seattle took the ball and got in the end zone and Geno Smith threw a touchdown pass. I honestly think that how our offense was playing, I think we would have lost that game because of that. Our defense saved us, and the best defenses in the league save their teams like that. And that's why the Saints defense, that's why they're a top five defense. But again, uh, this is just a you know quick video here, but uh, my Saints fans, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think this team is above average? Do you think they're good? Do you, what do you think? Please comment down below. Thank you so much, everybody, and uh, have a good night.